In this problem, we're trying to find the uh, minimum and the maximum. And so we're given f of x is equal to x squared minus 4x minus 2 on the closed interval between negative 2 and 4. And uh, we've got the graph drawn here. And uh, by looking at the graph, we can clearly see that this is going to be your largest point on the graph. That is the point with the largest y value. And this right here looks uh, more like where I've got the green dot, where it's going to be your uh, point on the graph with the, with the uh, smallest y value. However, we are uh, going to need to test this because let's say that we don't have a nice pretty graph that's drawn in front of us. And so we need to actually come up with what these uh, values are, these actual points on the graph are. And so we're going to do that by taking a negative 2 and just plugging it directly into the function. And that'll give us this y value. And then taking 4 and plugging it into the function. And then that'll give us this y value. And then what we want to do uh, is to find this one is look like we're going to need to take the derivative. So let's just uh, go right through this process. So f of negative 2. So that's going to be negative 2 squared minus 4 times negative 2 minus 2. And when we evaluate all of that, we should get 10. And then what we want to do is try the other test point, or the other uh, x value, sorry. Uh, by plugging 4 in, this is the other point on the end of the right end of the interval. And so we have 4 squared minus, well, if I remember right, that was a 4 up there. So let's scroll up, yeah. So 4 times 4 and then minus 2. And then once we evaluate all of this, we should get negative 2. Now we want to uh, find the y value of this point right here, which is the minimum of the graph. And so we're going to need to use some calculus. And by doing that, we're going to take the derivative, so f prime of x is 2x minus 4. You're going to take the derivative and set it equal to 0 because remember the derivative represents the slope. If you're trying to find the slope of the tangent line on the graph, we want to find the derivative. And where on the point on the graph is the slope 0? And we take uh, that derivative, setting it equal to 0 and solving for x, and therefore we can say then that x is going to be equal to 2. All right, you plug 2 in, you get 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 minus 4 is 0. So now that once we've found this, you want to take that 2 and plug it into the function. And so 2 squared minus 4 times 2 minus 2. And that's going to leave us with a negative 6. Um, one thing to uh, note here, and that is if our uh, critical point, the uh, that critical value there, x equals to 2, if, if that's not in our interval between negative 2 and 4, then we just totally disregard it. In other words, we could have possibly uh, gotten some other value outside here. Of course, by looking at this graph, that's not even possible. but uh, we may come upon that in some uh, later problems. So this number here must be in the interval for us to even consider it. And if it's not in the interval, then we don't even consider this. And we just go with the two endpoints. But uh, now we can look at this, and uh, I'll uh, circle these. So we have negative 6. 
negative 2 and 10. Now, which one is our largest value at? Well, it's obviously 10. So we can say then that the maximum, and uh, I'm going to label this as ABS for absolute, our absolute maximum is going to be at the point negative 2, 10. And then you look at your smallest y value out, and that's going to be negative 6. And so the absolute minimum is going to be 2 comma negative 6. And once again, by looking at the graph, we can see that it, when x is negative 2, this is obviously a maximum, right? It's above all other the other points. And then at 2, this is a minimum, but by barely here, by barely looking at the graph, you can see that it's a minimum. And uh, that uh, concludes this problem.